AI Summit here in Javits Center in New York City. Just wrapped up, heading out into some crummy weather, but I think the video I got is pretty cool. CEO and founder gave me a quick overview of their product, so check it out. Here's Lemony AI. Here's the messaging on premise. All ends here. Here's a picture of the hardware. And unlike most companies, they actually brought some hardware with them. So here's the back of it. Here's the product uh, line. More in digital experience, my son a couple of different models right here. Experience, so think of the, the user right. side and, uh, and really 180. Amazing, delightful. <laughs> uh, this thing's got some heft. Must weigh like yeah. three pounds, four pounds. Yeah. Very nice design. They're closing down now, so I won't get a full demo, but here's their contact information. <laughs> So yeah, we developed a fully offline solution with all your generative AI needs inside. Um, so it hosts basically the large language model in the box. And our vision was from the beginning, we envision the future of generative AI for business teams that you have one large general model, and then you have a lot of domain specific small ones. So with one, with one mox box, you can have up to five users and up to two models, but you can connect more boxes to your network. So with four boxes, you have 50 users mm -hmm. and up to eight models and they're really in parallel and we developed the AI router so we say that with your prompt we know the best what model you have to use and we route it to the right direction. So each model is fine-tuned? So we have smart fine-tuned adapters which we load on top of the models. So let's say we have fine-tuned adapters for legal US, legal UK, legal Europe. We have for finance Europe, US, and um, UK, we have small fine-tuned adapters. They uh -huh. will be loaded on top of the models. So, so what? So you use fine-tuning? Do you see you use RAG also? Yeah. So that's how we tunes? started. So we started with the RAG solution for business documents. Okay. And then we got. Okay. Got it. Okay. And then we focused more on structured data understanding as well. Okay. And then we added agents on top, where you basically can create workflows where you also can share prompt templates with your team and um, that's the direction we pushed so far. So I'm wondering, why, why do you use a physical box to put the LLA? I suppose it's for inference, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's not for training. So not yet. Um, next year it will come that you can find you small adapters on four of the boxes. So why do you have independent boxes? Why do you use a physical box? Why not using a virtual machine? So yeah, so we are not you want to use any virtual machines um, because of the of the privacy concerns and of everything, so we say we want to have all the data under control, and it's only focusing on gener generative AI possibilities. So um, yeah, it, it's everything what you, what what you need in the box, and there's no cloud, no internet, nothing. Okay, and so what's uh, what is uh, the GPUs inside? It's, uh... So it's a, it's a custom hardware setup. So we started with a GPU setup. Now we are went in the direction of a combination between AI accelerators uh -huh. and, and CPU. So you use like special uh, yeah. hardware like Rock or something like that? Uh, a similar, but, similar? But, but special one, yeah. With a chip-to-chip -chip connection. So we have okay. basically a cluster inside and then we can scale it with more and more putting into the net. Yeah, we gotta go. So, well, given the size, I suppose you can store like more people, I mean, terabytes, if not. Correct. So it's six, right? six, terabytes six terabytes of knowledge. So we uh -huh. basically index your business documents one overnight, uh -huh. and then we just store the knowledge on it. And then we have six, and then we scale it. So putting more boxes in the network not only scales the users and the model possibilities, it also scales the capacity. Okay. So M2, M.2 storage, gun sticks, NVMe storage, or what's in there? Uh, yeah, so so the NVMe, NVMe drives in it. We also have uh, YubiKey support, so we're working also with German car manufacturers in the first um, teams. They they require YubiKey, so we have YubiKey support as well. And yeah, so, so that's all. And who do you sell to your clients? <laughs> so at the moment, so at the moment we get the we get the biggest um, interest from finance, from legal firms. We have banks already working in the first teams. And the nice thing is we basically have a cluster per team. And if they have a second team, they normally buy additional cluster. And we can then point the responses of the cluster in the direction where the team is specialized in. So if we talk, for example, on a purchasing team of a big car manufacturer, they have a purchasing team for electronics, one for 
plastic parts, one for metal parts, and then we basically trim the response of them all in this direction that they, um, yeah, that it's basically the company, company key, um, yeah, part of the response. And your company is based in? So company is in New York, but I'm from Switzerland, I'm one of the founders. Okay. What kind of CPU in there? So a little Yubi key spot there? Yeah. What kind of CPU do you use on there? So we're not weather? talking too much not about, about the okay, hardware. Just totally, the whole thing's your design. Yes, it's yes, yes, totally made by us. Cool. Um, Thank you. I'm sorry. Appreciate your time.